First, have it. I can't get warm. I know. It's spring trip. Good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. We would uh, very much like to thank everybody who is here and everyone who is watching along with us from the Peoria Sports Complex with uh, terrific news today for the Padres and the Padres' future. A warm welcome to our viewers and listeners on MLB Network, Padres.com, the Valley Sports app, and 97.3 The Fan. 
Today, we gather to celebrate the new 11-year contract for the unquestioned leader of the San Diego Padres, superstar third baseman Manny Machado. Alongside Manny on the stage this morning is the Padres chairman, Peter Seidler, and president of baseball operations and general manager, A.J. Preller. We we'll begin the program with opening remarks from Peter and AJ, and also we will hear from Manny, and then after that we'll open it up to your questions. So at first, let's start with Peter Seidler. Hello, and, and thank you all for being here. Um, I'll, I'll start by thanking AJ, Manny, Manny's representation, headed by Danny Lozano for working hard to make this happen. Uh, as we've talked about, it's been our top priority this off season. Sometimes your top priority takes a minute longer than you hope it. You hope it will, but um, the bottom line is we got a very well thought through deal done to the satisfaction of all of us. And uh, for myself personally, as as the owner, um, for the city of San Diego and Padres fans everywhere. I can say that we're all delighted. And Padres fans everywhere, um, we heard from you. Um, and um, I, I've heard from you since it became official. And it's, it, it um, is a big thing for us to know that we're going to be able to show up at Petco Park and see this man, this superstar, play for us for the next 11 years and maybe beyond. Man, he's a young man. Correct. Um, I'd also like to thank all of Manny's teammates that are here. Um, even though we have a, a game starting in a few minutes uh, up in uh, Scottsdale, but to see Juan Soto and Joe Musgrove, and I, I don't want to call all of you out by name because I'll I'll miss somebody as I look around. Xander, um, it shows the respect and the camaraderie that we have in our dugout and our clubhouse and the passion that we have to win the city of San Diego's first championship. Um, but bottom line for me are two things. I could not be happier that Manny, who has earned this contract, past, present, and future, from the day we signed him about four years ago to what then was a $10 million deal, our expectations were high pretty darn high, and he's lived up to every one of those expectations on and off the field, and a lot more. Um, you, you've proven yourself to be a great fit in San Diego. We love you here, and you're going to um, continue to bring joy and excitement, I know, to our city and to our fan base for a long, long time. So thank you, Manny. And um, the other thing I, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention is I believe in the great game of baseball. Um, I, I'm pleased that um, as an institution, we're leaning forward into some new things and testing them this year. But that's really a reflection of a lot of hard work in the previous several years. And I think uh, the great game of baseball is positioned and poised to get even better over the course of time with tweaks here, tweaks there, but still keep the core fundamental of what makes it a unique and special game that remains America's pastime. So um, I think I went a minute longer than I thought I would. I'm going to turn it over to AJ now. Yeah, just, uh, I mean, I, getting here over the last few weeks, uh, you know, had a chance to sit down with Manny, I think three different times here in the last couple of weeks, one time with Peter, one time one-on-one, -on -one, and one time with, uh, with some staff members. and. I think a couple a couple takeaways for me. Um, you know, I, I think Manny's understanding. I think um, you know, definitely different than four years ago. Me, Manny, and Yane sat down for about five hours and uh, didn't eat anything. Actually, just just drank a lot of coffee. But at that time, it was really more of a conversation about what what could be here in San Diego, what we were trying to build. Uh, you know, how Manny fit in from that standpoint. Um, and I think, you know, the conversation here over the last couple of weeks, you know, is, is what we've been building, what's been built, and, you know, again, looking forward for, for the next 10 years, you know, what the next steps are. And I think hearing from Manny, uh, seeing his growth over the, last, uh, over the last four seasons has been impressive and, you know, struck me in, in those conversations when we sat down in terms of him understanding the partnership that a deal like this means between an organization and a player, him wanting that responsibility. 
Um, you know, I think the, the second part that really, really stood out to me was in the conversation with Peter and Manny uh, in, in, in the meeting that we had. I think Peter was talking to Manny about for him, business is, is not always just business. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of personal element to business and that served him well in, in his career, hearing Manny talk about his experiences. And I think for us, like doing a deal like this is because there's real trust. And, you know, Manny doesn't, doesn't have a, a huge circle of people that are around him, but with Yane, Yonder, Petey, uh, Danny, um, you know, they've become part of the Padre family. And I think they, uh, you know, they, they want uh, very similar things to the organization we used the last few weeks to just make sure that, uh, you know, kind of talk about what, what, what these next steps are for us as we continue to pursue a world championship. And, you know, the last thing for me from, uh, from the last couple of weeks, man, he's, you know, like a lot of great players. He's a very confident player. He believes in himself. Uh, he's incredibly, you know, he's a tough-minded individual. Um, you know, I think we've all seen that coming back from knee surgeries as a young player. Um, we've all seen it firsthand with the Padres, especially last year, you know, the ankle injury, and, and he was out there every single day for his teammates. Uh, but the thing that I think struck me and Peter a lot over the last couple of weeks is he doesn't let a lot of people in sometimes in terms of he, he truly loves being a Padre. He loves the city. He loves the fan base. He definitely loves his teammates and the coaching staff and Bob. And I think he respects what the front office and our scouts and player development have done in terms of putting other great players around him. And that just kept coming out in every conversation that we had as his, his appreciation and love for this organization and the city and wanting to create something really special with this group. And when you have that and you have those, those understandings from our standpoint, you know, it became easy to do, to do, a, you know, to do this in another 10-year deal and, um, or 11-year deal. And I, I think from our standpoint, you know, having that trust and faith that he understands what's it gonna, what it's going to take to win a World Series and, and continue being amongst the best players in the game. So we're extremely excited to be here today for sure. I mean, it's tough to follow these two right here, huh? Wow. Um, I mean, honestly, I just want to thank Shio, Sadie, Peter, um, AJ, Eric, front office, uh, my wife, my family, Danny, um, you know, uh, this has been a, a long journey. We're here. We signed a contract four years ago. Um, we had long conversations, and um, you know, it, it, it was it was great. And you guys have gone above and beyond for this organization, for the city. Made a lot of promises. They've been come true. So, I want to thank you guys, uh, my teammates that are here. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys going out there every single day and grinding with you guys. You know, this is, this is what it's all about, man. It's, it's a family. You're, you guys are my second family away from home. And, uh, you know, I will go above and beyond for all of you guys. And, you know, it means a lot to see you guys here. Uh, you know, and the last one is just for the fans of San Diego. I mean, I think, uh, you know, we're going to be here for the long haul. And, um, you know, my family and, and I are going to do a lot of great things for this organization. We're going to go above and beyond for it and hopefully bring a championship to the, to the city that, that's, that's been craving it and, and wants it and, um, you know, I could promise that we're going to go out there every day and we're going to leave it on the field for you guys, for this organization, and, uh, you know, for everyone that goes out there and sees us every single day. So, uh, you know, thank you again, Peter and man, AJ, for, um, you know, making this happen. And, you know, I'm, I'm honored to put on this uniform for the rest of my career. At this time, we have uh, microphones on both sides of the room, and we will start with your questions and Kevin Acey. Manny, it seems by the structure of this contract that you agreed to, it was important to you that the team continue to be able to invest. Could you speak to that and the importance of that? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously with the contracts that, that, that we got with Bogey, myself, um, Toddy, um, hopefully Soto next, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, it's great. We want to win. You know, what we've been building here since, since day one, since AJ, when we sat down back in Miami, we sat down. Um, we actually met with Peter and Ron at the time as well. Um, you know, this was the plan, and you know, here we are. This, this, this is it. And you know, they've come up, put an organization on 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 the top, and we brought in people to come help help bring a championship. We're going to continue to do it, and you know, ultimately, I think uh, you know, all of us in here, we we want to do that. And we want to continue to do that. So. That being said, yeah, I'm going to do whatever it is for this team. I'm going to do whatever it is so that they can go out there and continue to put this, put this great team out there and keep building. Um, you know, I think that's, that's the best thing about this is we're going to continue to do this for a long time, and, you know, we're not going to stop. Peter, could you speak to that, just the importance of the structure of this and that Manny was willing to do that to uh, fulfill your promise that it was the Padres' decade? 
I, I think um, w when it came to the contract, you know, when, when you're talking about the numbers and the importance of it and the market that had, you know, had we not done it that would have existed, we believed for Manny, for us to be aggressive and to make sure that um, the, the list of teammates keeps growing as I look around the room. Anybody there, Bob and uh, Scottsdale to play? <laughs> I guess Tatis might be. <laughs> but in, in any event, we, we talked through a whole bunch of different scenarios. The, the bottom line is we're, we're here to win a championship. And we came reasonably close last year. Um, we, we believe we have every chance this year and, you know, the organization's objective, and I know Manny's um, objective, is every single year at this time, um, you know, non-conflicted people are saying, hey, the Padres got a shot. Because, in, in, you know, in, in baseball, there's always going to be a, a number of very good teams. But we're, we're, we have full intentions of being in that group and, and high in that group every year. Um, and the, the past is the past, but right now is right now. And as we head out to play a game in, in Scottsdale in a little bit and then open the, the season in a few weeks um, with a great stop at the World Baseball Classic, <laughs> um, you know, our full intent is to be right there at the end. And like we talk about, one year soon, the baseball gods will smile on the San Diego Padres, and we will have a parade. <clears throat> AJ Casvo. Manny, this is your second major press conference in, in Peoria. I'm wondering if you can kind of describe the scope of everything that has changed here in those four years since the last one. It's gotten bigger, for sure. Uh, but I mean, it's just awesome to see the faces. Um, you know, a lot more teammates now around. Uh, you know, we have a whole city behind us. Um, just a lot has changed over, over those years. Um, a lot of promises have been made, and they've come true. This organization is. Uh, at one point, we were, you know, 19 when I came my first year. We weren't, we didn't do so well. We had expectations, we had chances, and, and you, we kind of came up short. And uh, then we put ourselves in a good map. We we kind of settled in as a team. We brought in this organization to to the top at the highest level and made everyone better around us. We made we put a good staff together. Um, we believed in each other as a team, and the team just started coming in as as a group. So. Uh, ultimately, it's, it's, it's about winning baseball games, and, and here we are. You know, we, we, we fell short last year, and, you know, like Peter said, we're, we're, we're ready to compete every single year, go out there and, and try to do our best for the city, for, for the fans, and, and ultimately for everyone that's inside that clubhouse every time they put on that uniform is, you know, we got a real chance to, you know, make it very far, and we know it's not easy. It's going to be a lot of hard work with Bob and his staff that we, we go out there and we put in the work every single day on those backfields. Um, know that it's there's our end goal, which is to 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 raise that trophy and be the last team standing. But you know it doesn't come with 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 ease. There's a lot of work that comes to it and a lot of camaraderie that we got to do as a, as a ball club um, to get there. But you know it's it's we're on the right path. Uh, you know we've come a long way from from that day and in a good direction. And it, it's a promising future. For AJ and for Peter, I'm wondering if you could describe the way the way Manny has driven that change in the last four years. I think I think probably the biggest thing that's changed in the last year is, is our parking lot. You know, like I think we didn't have the kind of cars we have right now in the last in the last few years. So uh, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, Manny's been a huge part of it. I think like we talked about when we signed him in 2019, you're, you're signing a 26-year-old superstar player that that plays both sides of the ball. That's you know amongst the top in the game and. You know, ultimately, you know, I think that signal that signal that change for us overall as an organization. We've been building so much from from player development and scouting, trying to build this, you know, put as many good young talented players in, in the system, and getting an established superstar at that age who we knew could grow with that group was a, you know, was a huge thing. And you know, I think again, like um, you know, you're constantly learning, and and we've learned from you know from from the 2020 season. We definitely learned from you know 21, and and I feel really, I think the biggest thing. Probably the biggest thing with Manny, I think, was after the 2019 season, where where he struggled, you know, you know, for, from uh, you know, from a performance standpoint, and we said the team struggled at the end of the you know in the second half, and sat down with Manny, and you know, to see somebody that owned like the idea that yeah, I'm going to be better than this, and we're going to be better as a group, and to see him come back the last three years, put together three MVP type seasons, um, and I think that gives us all a lot of a lot of trust and faith in, in what the, the next period looks like, and. 
hearing, you know, again, like I, when, when he talks, it excites me, like talking about, hey, last year we got close, but we're going to learn from that and grow and grow with these guys in the room. So, you know, again, I think, uh, I, I think, I think for all those reasons, I think, you know, the last four or five years have been, been a fun ride for sure. Bryce Miller. Manny, um, there was an initial offer and there was talk of a deadline so you could focus on the season. There are already a lot of financial obligations in that clubhouse. As you hinted at, there are more big decisions to come. For any of those reasons or at any point, did you doubt this would get done? Um, you know, honestly, there's, there's, there's always 50-50 chance in business. And as everyone knows, it's, there's always a flip of a coin. But I know, uh, you know from the beginning of talks, I think Peter made it clear, AJ made it clear that I, that was a, I was a priority. So um, they know that we love this this organization, we love this city, we love the fans, we love putting on this uniform every single day. So in my mind, I was I was always going to be a Padre. It was just a matter of when I was going to be one for the rest of my career. But you know, ultimately, um, you know, we knew that we 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 didn't want to go anywhere. We want we knew we wanted to put on this uniform for the rest of our career and. Um, you know, there's always bumps on the road, but you know, here we are today, and you know, we're we're blessed to be here every single day. You know, we gotta thank God and 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 our families for for giving us the support every single day, and um, you know, it's 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 a great day to be a Padre, and 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 it's a promising future for this organization. Given using your words that you're here for the rest of your career, what does that say about your confidence that that sustained and and World Series level winning is going to happen here? I think look around the room. Look at those guys back there. I think that's that, that's the key. Um, you know, these guys wanna wanna come here and win. They they compete every single day. We push each other as a team. And I think ultimately, whenever you surround yourself with a group like this, I think it's 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 it doesn't come doesn't come come around. You know, I've been in some different organizations in in the past, and um, you know, I've never been a part of the, a team like this that you know everyone cares for one another, everyone looks up to each other, and and we we push each other at the end of the day and. You know, whenever you have a group like that, uh, you know, you, you can never take that for granted. And, you know, we all know that it's hard to get there. It's hard to win. There's only one team at the end of the year. And, but the relationships we grow, the, the ups and downs, the grinds that we go throughout a year, I think builds character, builds this relationship that we have in there. And, you know, to me, if we continue to do that, it's, it's, it's like Peter said, the baseball gods will, will, will shine down on us. And, um, you know, we will be holding that trophy at the end of the year, and this team has a lot of goals, and we have, you know, that dedication to get there, and we're going to continue to do that. Bob Scanlon. Many part of these decisions also are, are your family being comfortable in the city and also enjoying coming to the ballpark on a daily basis. Can you talk a little bit about how the, the community has embraced you and this, and this fan base as well and the support they've shown you? It's been awesome since day one, since I signed. Um, you know, there was a light to the city, and... Um, you know, the fans have just continued to grow. Uh, we got sold out crowd this year, right? Sold out crowd for 80 games, oh, 82 yeah. games. And, um, you know, last year was amazing. And, and the year before even, even that. So uh, I think the biggest thing was that turnaround in 2020 where we couldn't have any fans to come out there and support us. We had a great squad. We, we put up some, some, we put up a good year and we fell short in the playoffs and we gave them a little taste of that. And then, you know, come that next season was, 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 was incredible. The fans were coming out there. The Camardi, you can see it around the city. You walk around and people were wearing Padre jerseys. Um, you know, they're just they're just loving what we're doing out on that field every single day, and it's great to see. Um, you know, we're the only time we're the only team in, in, in town, and they're giving us that full support, and we're doing it back. We're we're, we're giving it back as as a team. So, um, you know, it's just it's just amazing to see. We love the city. The city is one of the best cities in the world, and you know, to be a part of it and, and be there and hopefully, you know, give them a parade that they've been waiting for for a long time, um, you know, would be awesome. Bob Nightingale. Hey, Manny, going back to your uh, Baltimore days, how much you take back from J.G. Hardy, Adam Jones, and we all know what you do on the field, but, but in that clubhouse and leadership? Yeah, I mean, you learn from these guys. I mean, even to today, I, w I will say, um, you know, to kind of go away from your, from your question a little bit, even to today, you learn. You learn from these guys that are that are that are in this in this room right now, and the guys that are in that clubhouse. You learn from them. You continue to learn. I think that's the beauty of baseball. It's just it's a revolving. You got to revolve. You got to continue to learn, um, grow from another, listen to one another. One guy will have an idea that, that will help you. Another guy will have another. So you got to continue to learn. And seeing those guys when I played there with JJ and Adam and um, Marquez, they just 
they worked, man. They went out there every single day. They were they weren't vocal leaders, but you know they showed you how to how to how to play the game the right way, how to go about your business, how to prepare, um, how to lead a team, how to you know when you're struggling, how to get everyone together. Um, so you learn from that, but obviously you always put it into your own terms. And I think the best advice and the best um, the best information you can get is from the from your teammates every single year. Every year is different, uh, and, and you can learn from these guys, and you feed off of it. And that's why we have such a special group here that we, we do that so well. And um, you know that that's that doesn't come around very often. Any plans for a big team celebration? Celebratory oh, dinner. You best believe it. You <laughs> best believe it. We do it big around here in San Diego, right? Dennis Lynn. Manny, you and Peter are obviously pretty close. What do you remember about meeting him for the first time, and how's that relationship grown to what it is today? I mean, it's it's a relationship is always you know slowly developing, and uh, you know from the first day we met uh, at, a, at a we actually had a dinner this year at the same spot, um, you know, as a, with, with the team. Um, you know, we've come a long way. We grow. We, we, he loves the game of baseball. I love the game of baseball. We can have conversations about, about just anything. And, you know, he has a beautiful family. He's the daughter that's the best in the world. Um, but this is a family. He, he treats everyone like a family in here. And, you know, wherever, when we signed here, that's what we were looking for was, was, was a, a family-orientated team. And, you know, they've, they've gone above and beyond. They have a beautiful family who, who cares about this game, who cares about the organization, who cares about everything. And, Whenever you have that as an owner, you, you always gravitate towards that, and you know he's he's got a lot of wisdom, so you gotta you gotta keep him keep him close to uh, you know to learn from that. So uh, you know it's just beautiful to see uh, you know how much he cares about his players and and about this team and about the city as well. Are you surprised by how quickly this came together the last few weeks? I mean, you got two great leaders here, and I think that's that's where it starts with 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 that with them being so great at that at at their jobs while they're at. Where they are, at, where they're at now. Um, Peter came up to me. He's like, "Hey, you wanna, you wanna, you think we should sit down and talk?" And um, you know, we had a good, lengthy conversation that that led to some good things. And you know, we kind of vented a little bit on each other, and we leaned off each other. But it's about that communication and having that confidence. And um, you know, here we are today. You know, so sending this extension, getting to know each other even more, and and building off of this relationship that we've already built. So. Um, you know, a lot of great things are, are coming to San Diego, and it starts by these two leaders right here that, that are leading the way. Annie Halburn. Manny, with the upcoming free agent class being what it is and your success, there's a good chance you would have made more money had you gone into free agency. How much uh, did you weigh that out, and how significant was that decision for you? I mean, it's, it's we, always, we, we always wanted to be here. I think that was our, our initial, um, you know, I talked talk to Danny, and Danny always, you know, giving us the best advice. That's why he's the best agent in the game. Um, you know, by, by leading by example, you know, you got to put everything, obviously you got to know everything that's going to go, what's going to happen, how the market's changed, what teams are going to be involved. But ultimately, you know, we told him since day one, hey, we, we want to be a Padre for life. You know, we, 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 we want to start our family there. We want to, you know, continue to grow old there. And, um, you know, I don't think we had any other teams in mind. But, you know, obviously, there's, there's things that come into it, which is the money part of things where nobody kind of likes to talk about. But, um, you know, ultimately, um, you know, we're happy here and, and my family's happy and this, 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 the fans are happy and my teammates are happy to have me here. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, see myself wearing another uniform. I don't know if relief is the right word, but is there a sense of just uh, happiness that it's done now and that you're not going into the season to be asked about it over and over again. Yeah, I think that was one of the reasons why we did uh, initially start have the deadline. I mean, I think uh, you know not not just for myself, but you know out of respect for my teammates, um, you know to answer that question every single day and have that continue to linger on. I think it's 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 a big elephant in the room, and you know I don't think uh, you know I want I wanted this team to be focused on on our goal this year, which is to win a championship. I think. Uh, you know, Peter and AJ put a really good team out there together and, um, you know, led by Bob and his staff to, to, to go out there and compete and, and, and reach that goal that we want to reach. And um, I didn't want any distractions this year. It was, it was about winning baseball, winning baseball games, winning a championship and getting to the World Series and, and winning it ultimately. And, um, you know, the last ones were getting on that bus, going around the city in that parade. And, uh, you know, I just didn't want to lose focus of that and, and, and have everyone's mindset on, on going out there and playing baseball every single day. 
Any further questions? Congratulations, Manny Machado, and thank you all for being here today.